Welcome Gemini to your September 2017 forecast by me, Ali from Hypno You. Now if you'd like a private reading with me uh, this month, uh, you might need one. Uh, please use the link below. If you would like your whole year forecast to see what will happen for the whole year, Vimeo On Demand, use the link below and uh, please watch your sun, your moon and your rising video. Sometimes your sun sign may not make any sense to you but your other two will or you'll get more information with each video. So make sure that you're getting your full complete free reading by watching all three. Now uh, do watch your mid-month videos as I will show you where exactly Saturn is going direct in your um, house specifically Gemini after the four or five months of it going retrograde. So we have a problem at work there is the tower card at work and um, your health as well you, you're laying awake worrying about it and also we do have the high priestess for love um, in reverse as well so um, putting those three together the tower card says that there's going to be some sort of chaos or crisis with your study your investments or your work and it looks like there might be an accusation of some sort or something's gone wrong and you might be thrown under the bus something might have gone missing and they're directing it at you or um, there's some sort of upheaval shock at work now you could be fired you could find Find out that the company's closing and you won't have a job in, uh, by the end of the month. You could find out that the boss has been fired and now you've got a new boss and this new boss uh, and or this new boss may be someone that you you, you know rub, rub heads with. Uh, this could be um, total chaos at work to the last minute and running around and trying to get this work done because there's some sort of delay, stall, um, you know, explosion, miscommunication. Now with this uh, Mercury retrograde, if you watch my mid-month video for August, you will see that this month there is there is the potential of really bad blow-ups, really bad miscommunication, not reading the fine print, um, being sold something or taking on a job where they have uh, sold you something that just isn't there. So um, this month at work, study or uh, with your investments, there there is going to be some sort of earthquake, some uh, radical, uh, revolutionary, out of the blue, you know, um, shake up at work for you. Uh, at home, you do have the um, Ace of Pentacles, which is uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Gemini. And this is about a inheritance. This is money coming to you. This is having the practical, tangible resources given to you. Um, this is uh, being backed by an unlucky source. This is getting a sponsor. This is uh, getting money for the home, for the future. This uh, path leads on to the future. So this is just being given to you what you need right now, the resources, the tangible, practical helps that you need right now for that fresh start um, for you during this time around the home. This is also about a promotion. So maybe... Um, you end up getting another job and it's a better job with more money uh, because this card is nothing but positive. This is about a the divine gift to you to lead you back onto your path to the future. Um, you know, and so this tower uh, may come abruptly uh, or this may have been coming from the eclipse where information is concealed for up to um, six months. And uh, so you you know, there may have been some issue there, there and, and now there's been this sudden, you know, blowout. Um, but if you do lose your job, you're going to be fine because you are handed this gift from the divine. So keep your eyes open for any opportunities that are there. You will end up with the money, resources, and support that you need, especially around the home. Now with your health, you do have the Nine of Swords, Gemini. And this is you with insomnia, uh, awake all night, worrying, uh, mental issues, too much going on in the mind. Now the Ninth House is sciatic, uh, liver, hips, and thighs. Um, and so your uh, stress levels... Um, th those are the areas of the body that may be, you know, showing up signs this month. Um, and this is about, you know, putting those thoughts at bay uh, down so that you can get to sleep. So that's where your health will be this month. And then, of course, you've got the High Priestess card, which is a major arcana card uh, for your love this month. Now, this is making a decision and the details are missing. Um, and also, this is about... Um, You don't have all the information to make this decision. And for some of you, you don't know what you want to make this decision. So it's almost like you're going to have to be um, to be urged or pushed or, or forced 
Um, and it's about your long-term future. And you, some of you, you feel backed into a corner, almost like, well, now I have to do this, or, and I'm not ready, because I don't know. Uh, but you're definitely making a decision. There is a Capricorn around this as well. Um, this is the uh, the two card of partnerships, and it is you know got seeds all over it about your future. There is news coming, um, but it doesn't shed light on it either because this is in reverse. So you you don't know what you feel emotionally about your relationship you're waiting for more information and the information that comes still doesn't give you that answer that you're looking for so um you are your this is a major decision this is a uh, major crossroads and you gemini are uh, you're, you're not quite sure what you want to do Carissa is saying that you're into a cycle of your life um and so this is a good time for you to um Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you because the next cycle is uh, on to happiness and peace and serenity. So there is going to be an ending here. Uh, but you do have that um, support. You do have that support here and that divine intervention, um, what you need. And now you have Melina who's saying that, you know, you might be feeling like you're torn. You might be feeling like, you know, you're being pulled in four different directions. Uh, also within yourself. I really feel, Gemini, this month you, you're like, well, I don't know what to do. And this one decision is important and that affects that decision, which is really important. But I have these responsibilities and I have these people around me and, um, and I'm not quite sure what it is that I want to do yet, but time's ticking and I'm feeling rushed. I'm feeling pushed into making a decision. And I really don't know because things are up in the air and I really don't know what I want to do. I really am unsure. So, you know, um, that is where you're feeling pulled into four different directions. Again, you've got another Capricorn in there. But the Psyche Butterfly says that there is going to be fresh air um, breathed into that which you thought was said and gone. And this may also involve fertility as well uh, for some of you, or decisions to do with your children, especially if you're looking at long-term future goals with your career, as well as if there's going to be any change or decisions to do with your love. So be kind to you and those you love, Gemini, and I shall see you next month.